Good evening and salutations, my Days of Our Lives fans. Um, set this my other two reviews, but I'm gonna say it's in this one because um, you know, I know sometimes people watch certain shows and not the other shows as far as Days and I mean as far as Born and Beautiful, General Hospital, and stuff like that. Um, so I had a date today, and um, well, it went really well. Had a great time with an amazing woman. And um, it ended later than I thought it would. And then I got home later than I thought it would, and everything just kind of snowballed. So, apologies for it coming out as late as it did. As late as it is. And I do appreciate the people that still do watch. Um, I'm going to be honest, not really a lot actually happened in this episode. Um, Philip was, you know, pulling out the stops with Chloe, you know, um, bought us some flowers and stuff like that. I mean, listen, I know that I called this man, I, I called this man a man child, okay? And I'm not entirely taking that back, but I mean, you know, when it's time to sit there and, and, and really, you know, show a woman some romance, some class and stuff like that, like put in some effort Get flowers, you know, stuff like that. The guy puts in that work. I gotta respect that. Um, talked about that. They talked about, um, well, actually, talked to, they talked about that and they talked about, well, Philip um, told Chloe about Gabby and Jake being the ones that's trying to oust him. Um, say he got it from a source and the whole key logger thing and everything like that. The issue comes in. From the fact that Gabby Sheik is making him a lot of money. So it's not on top of that, he doesn't have any proof. He doesn't have any proof. And Gabby Sheik is actually making him a lot of money. So it's one of those things where he has to sit there and kind of bide his time and wait till he gets some proof before he can really sit there and act. If you know he fires Jake, then that's just gonna tip off Gabby. So it's one of those things you gotta kinda just take them both out at the same time. Um but, you know, with that being said, he does, you know, own up to the fact that he made a mistake with, with Brady. I mean, he said that yesterday, so I don't understand why she was asking him to do it again or whatever. But, um, one thing I did like was that when they were talking and Phil was talking about how he made mistakes and stuff like that back in the day. And she was like, yeah, you know, we both made mistakes. I was like, good, good. Good. I was sitting at the one. I was like, you know, should I actually clap for that? Yeah, no, I'm gonna clap for that. Um. But yeah, you know, he was like, he made a mistake as far as um. Uh, braiding. Now Chloe was like, you know what? Maybe Brady could sit there and help you. Of course, Philip being prideful and everything, like, nah, I got this. But I think it'll be a good idea. I think it'd be a good idea if they if they did team up. You know. Um. But who knows if that's going to happen. Now, Brady does get a visit from Jake. And Jake is asking all sorts of questions like, Hey, did you sit down and talk to your grandfather? Like, what's going on? And blah, 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 blah. Asking all these questions where it's like, you know, Brady's like, um, how do you know what kind of car I drive? Why? Like, how did you know I was sitting there talking? How did you know I was even over there? You know, like, what's, what's going on? Why are you asking me so many questions? Um, now, he doesn't actually, you know, since... Since Brady knows, I'm assuming at this point, what Philip, what, um, I don't know if, I don't know. I do remember that Philip did actually have a conversation with, um, Brady and Chloe was there about how he apologized for accusing him of being the one that was trying to infiltrate, um, Titan or whatever. So he said he was sorry, and I, I believe he said that he... Um, found out it was Gabby and Jake, but I'm not too sure. I feel like at this point, Brady's on to Jake either way. Um, but he kind of just rushes him out the house, rushes him out the house, and like the snake that Jake is, because now, honestly, to tell you the truth, now I'm snake to look into this whole thing. I'm like, you know what, Gabby and Jake are perfect for each other because they are both, well, snakes. <laughs> okay, they're both snakes. Now, 
Jake is outside eavesdropping on a conversation that Victor and Brady's having as far as Brady's like, I want no parts of me since they're trying to seduce Chloe to get him away from Philip and so he can focus on work or whatever. He overheard that. But it's kind of odd because I'm like, bro, how loud was you? How loud was you sitting there talking? Um, but he overhears that and he, you know, runs into Gabby. Now, Gabby, I know a lot of people like that woman. Yeah, she makes the show interesting. You know, because she, she does stuff. Um, a lot of people got a respect for her because of the stuff that's happened to her. And while I wasn't there for that, so I can't sit there and attest to that. Um, Gabby, and I've said this before, Gabby has gotten on my nerves. And she always gets on my nerves because of the way she acts. And the way she acts, she acts like someone who is an immature high school girl. I say immature high school girl because I know there's are girls that are not immature like her, but I'm talking about the immature high you know, immature, petty ass high school girls. And that's exactly what she acts like. Um You know, she starts trash talking Ava to Rafe and he's like, yo, why isn't they talking about my girlfriend like that for? He's not there defending her. And she's all like, ah, oh, well, how could you sit there and say that? You're scraping from the bottom of the barrel. Just being completely disrespectful. Ava walks in, and she just continues on like she's not even there. And then she starts talking about, oh, well, this is my house. And, you know, Rafe was like, uh, I'm sorry, who pays for this house? Oh, yeah, no, it's me. Um, you know, Gabby's all upset because EJ stole, well, I don't know if I can sit there and say stole, but he bought the house back, so she's all upset with that. And, you know, she's all like, oh, well, this is my house that grew up in it, and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I am so glad Ray put her in their place. Like, yo, uh, who are these bills naming? Yours? Nope. Looks like mine's. Um, you know, she makes, he makes her apologize to, um, Ava. And, of course, she's all like, well, you know, she said mean stuff to me, too. I'm like, Gabby, how old are you? Like, seriously. She finally apologizes. And then she says something sarcastic or something snarking, like, walks off. I'm like, you know, Gabby, I, I guess at this point, I wouldn't expect you to be anything other than the... I don't even know what to call her anymore. I feel like I'm just repeating myself. But anyway, she walks off. And, you know, at some point, Ava sniffed there thinking about, you know, how she um, told Philip the information that's going to pretty much screw over Gabby's plan. So, she's happy about that. Um, while Rafe is sniffed to say, oh, well, I, I, I'm, I wish that um, Gabby could take the high road like you. You know, at this point, <laughs> I, I, I'm still going to take Ava over Gabby. So, that's just, well, you know, I have to tell you if I had to sit there and rethink that. I don't know. Gabby gets on my nerves, but Ava did something that I feel that if Ava was a man and Ava did that to someone, well, that person would be canceled and probably kicked off the show. But for some odd reason, because she's a... You know, never mind. Never mind, I'm not even going to go there. Now, Gwen does go and see um, Xander in jail. And she's, you know... I mean, she, she feels bad because, you know, he's in jail for something that, you know, kind of spiraled out of control of her own making and him they trying to pretty much save her. So, you know, she's like, I'm going to confess and, you know... Xander's like, I don't think that's a good idea. Don't do that. Um, EJ already has to judge in his pocket. And you're not going to really do much except for, you know. Like, you know, she was sitting there talking about how she's going to confess to being like a sex worker or whatever. And, you know, Xander was like, that's still, a, like, that, that's, that's still a crime. Still a crime. Um, 
And Dan just needs to talk about how he doesn't really have a lot of lawyers. It's going to help because, you know, once they find out that EJ has something to do with him, they don't want no parts of that. But Justin walks in, and long story short, they find out that Justin's, you know, Bonnie's judge is the same judge that is pretty much in EJ's pocket. Now, Gwen was in rare form. She actually act like the scheming, you know, scheming person that she, she once was. Like, she just drudged up that power out of nowhere. And she's like, you know, she, in a lot of ways, convinced Justin that it would be a good idea for them to help each other um, take out the judge, free Xander, and help Bonnie. You know, because she's like, yo, listen... At the end of the day, you have an uphill battle. I think this is, what, her second murder now? And this judge may decide, you know what, I want to throw her in jail anyway because I don't really care about the law. I mean, I care about what works for me, so clearly I don't care about the law. It seems as though when Justin leaves, that even though Justin didn't sit there and say yes, he didn't say no other. So... You know, hopefully Justin will sit there and come through. I mean, let's be honest. At the end of the day, it is in his best interest. Because if he goes against... He goes, um... You know, towards that judge. And the judge, you know, decides, you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm corrupt. He's screwed. On top of that, when he left, he talked to Rafe. And, you know, he was like, yo, where's Bonnie at? And Rafe was like, oh, the judge said that, um... You know, no visitors because of bad behavior. And even Rafe was like, yeah, I don't know, like, what she did, but it's Bonnie, so could have been anything. And that's when Justin was like, you know what? Maybe Gwen and Xander actually have a point. So I think he's going to come around. And yeah, so at some point, um, Gabby runs into Jake. And, you know, Jake tells Gabby about the conversation he overheard between... Brady and Victor, as far as Brady turning Victor down, as far as, you know, seducing Chloe. And then Gabby was like, oh, well, you know, we're going to use Chloe to take down Philip. And I'm like, wow, you really are a piece of work. But I guess that's, you know, that's the type of I feel like at this point, especially for the people who are Gabby fans, this is just power for the core. This is power for the core. This is typical Gabby. And so... In a lot of ways, as much as I don't like her, I guess, you know, I, I can't sit there and knock her for her being her true nature. Well, for acting in her true nature. And the last scene is with EJ and Nicole. So, EJ talks to Nicole, tells about the whole Xander situation. And somewhere it gets to a conversation that they start talking about rape. And how Nicole still has feelings for Rafe. I mean, yeah, Nicole still has feelings. You know, Nicole has feelings for Rafe. Um, and, you know, Nicole's like, listen. I just kind of put myself out of the equation. You know, because Ava really likes Rafe. And I want them to be happy. And to give their relationship of, of you know, a chance of working. And so, EJ was like, you know, apparently Nicole is... His favorite ex. Um, like, you know what? Listen, as much as I would want to sit there and encourage you to, um, you know, go after your man or follow your heart. With Ava, um, since she may revert back to type, it's probably not a healthy decision to actually do that. And then towards the end, he asked her out to dinner. Um, now it's funny because I was sitting there reading the comments and stuff like that. Not just my comments, but just some comments in general. And a lot of people were sitting there saying that they're going to pair EJ out with Nicole. I mean, they already have history. I don't know why they exactly ended their relationship. Um, but they already have history. Well, let's be honest. Um, unless Rafe, I mean, unless Nicole is going to sit there and make another play for Rafe and EJ... I don't really know who else actually EJ could sit there and be with. I, I really can't think of anyone. Um, that would, I guess, work. Now, you know, 
if you've been watching my reviews for a while, you know I'm not really into the super couples or couples or whatever. But I feel like he is more suitable for Nicole because, well, they have history. So at some point, they're going to get together. And, um... Uh, EJ is quite a character. Um... But yeah, I have a feeling like they're gonna they're gonna sit there and, and get together because why not? And maybe when Sammy comes back, I don't know. I guess she'll try to blow the whole marriage apart because I don't know. I guess that's what Sammy does. I don't know. I feel like that's about it. I feel like I'm missing something, but I have no idea what I'm missing, and so um. But I also feel like a lot didn't really happen in this episode. But like always, if I did miss something, please write it down in the comment section below. I don't know. Although I'm keeping really bad notes, so I can't really sit there and think of anything that happened. If it did, how significant was it? Um, anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, be safe. See you in the next video.